Gregory, you did uh, a piece on this. You did the research. Kudos to you on this research. The left claims that Mike Pence Thanks. supports conversion therapy. You say that's not true. Why? I'm not just saying it's absolutely untrue. I know it's absolutely untrue. Back when he was running for Congress in the year 2000, Mike Pence had one line on his website, campaign website, saying that if Congress was to, going to reauthorize what they call the Ryan White Care Act, which is federal funds that are devoted to the prevention and care of individuals who have HIV, that those funds should only be directed toward organizations that encourage people to change their sexual behaviors. Now, this was a time when there were a lot of organizations around the country, even LGBT organizations, that were encouraging people to change their sexual behaviors in order to avoid contracting the HIV virus. You had organizations that were encouraging safer sex practices, for example. There were condom distribution programs. Now, the left latched on to this, this one line from 19 years ago and has turned that and spun it into an allegation that Mike Pence supports conversion therapy, he, that he supports electroshock therapy to shock the gay out of people, and that he just, at, at his basic core, has a problem with anyone who happens to be gay. And if you actually look at Mike Pence's record, he's been anything but. If you look at this, the, the lie, the smears that people have pushed out about conversion therapy, you see that it is an absolute and total smear with no basis in fact. And if you look at the way Vice President Mike Pence has conducted himself, especially since he's been sworn in as the nation's vice president in January of 2017, he's shown nothing but welcome and hospitality and grace toward everyone he's come in contact with, including gay Americans. And it is really appalling, isn't it, that the left uh, just invents a lie like that. I mean, you talk about this electroshock therapy to, you know, shock the gay out of people. That's obviously abusive and absurd. Did the left literally just make that up completely? Did they cut that out of whole cloth? Where did that come from? Absolutely, it came out of whole cloth. And, and largely, it's part of this meme warfare that the left is engaged in where if someone says something on social media, it catches fire, it gets retweeted, it gets shared on Facebook. No one bothers to check what the facts are. Certainly no one bothers to even do research into what the allegations are. And then over a period of time, and it doesn't even take much time, these things just come to be accepted as fact. And I'll give you a great example of this. Just last summer, you had a survivor of the Orlando Pulse nightclub massacre uh, who was on MSNBC with Joy Reid, where he, on a panel of LGBT individuals about Mike Pence, said that the vice president wants to put people like him and gay people around America into concentration camps, Liz. He said this with a straight face, and it was an allegation that went totally unquestioned by the MSNBC host, Joy Reid. So what I'm saying is, you know, the, it's not only Democrats and the left that are spinning these lies. Media is just accepting them and running with them. And in the process of all this, a good man, a decent man, Vice President Mike Pence is being unfairly smeared.